The most time-consuming thing for post-processors is subject selection. Selecting around your subject, picking out every fine hair so you can change the background or make heavy modifications and have it still look natural. It can take a really long time. Photoshop CC just released a new feature called Subject Select that promises to do this entirely automatically. So I want to take a look at a variety of real world images and see how it did. First of all, there are three ways you can activate Subject Select. First, I should say you have to have Photoshop CC, the one you pay monthly for. You cannot buy this in any other version of Photoshop. If you don't yet have it, go to sdp.io slash Adobe deal. You can get yourself a 30 day free trial. So with that said, if you have Photoshop CC, Three ways to activate it. Open up your picture, go to the select menu, and then hit subject. And you can see Photoshop analyzes the picture for a little bit, and then it will kind of take a look at your subject. And you can see the what they call the marching ants, the selection boxes around here. And if I were to mask this off, we'd be able to see a little more obviously where it actually masks the subject. The second way is to go into the select and mask tool, hit select here, select and mask. And this is the way most pro photo editors are going to be doing it. Now that you're in this, there's a select subject button here in the toolbar. We'll hit that. It'll figure out what the subject is, automatically select it. And then because we're already in the select and mask tool, we can zoom in and start to do some refinements. For example, it did a pretty good job on her, but you can see these little crevices and stuff. It just kind of failed. So now I can just go in and mask it a little bit better. Okay. Automatically pick that up. And then, you know, things like her hair here obviously need to be done. I'm holding on the alt key just to mask off this section a little bit better. Okay. You get the idea. It's not a perfect tool. You'll, it's just a good starting point. And indeed it does seem to be a better starting point than most. The third way you can activate the select and mask tool is to use your magic wand tool here something I often start with rather than select and mask, and then hit select subject here, and it will go ahead and add it. And then hit select and mask, and it will go ahead and find your subject and do the best job it can at selecting it. Let's take a look at a few more sample pictures here that I've already selected. Here, this subject, very clean background, uh, a non-human subject. If I hide the background, you can see it did a pretty good job around it. It got confused by the foot, so I'd have to go back in and manually select that. And if I zoom in a little bit, uh, you can see the edges here are pretty natural. Uh, there's some little feathers, like if you look at the feathers over here, those got completely lost, and these little details here got lost, but the final result looked pretty natural. Here's another animal subject. If I hide the background, we can see it. there's a lot of fringing here that would kind of need to be fixed, maybe with decontaminate colors, but it did an okay job. Again, an animal subject, but with a clean background. It does a very good job on this, but we would still need to do some touch-ups here to remove those other pieces of sky. This a human subject against a very plain background. Subject select does a pretty good job. There was an extra subject there that it picked up that was not part of the subject. It was probably just in focus. And then I'd have to go through and remove some little bits of the sky and the background there. Another human subject here. Let's hide the background and we can see it doesn't do a great job with her hair. You can see there's lots of detail in her hair here that just get completely lost. So that's going to take a lot more touch up and the glass here is a little bit out of focus and for some reason it just didn't think it was part of it and it, it kind of mangled her hand pretty good. But it's, again, it's a starting point. Another option here, we have some stuff in the foreground and in the background, the subject selection, well, you know, it mangles his hand a little bit, but still it could shave off a couple of minutes from your initial selection. This I consider to be a very hard subject because of the complex background and be the just general deep depth of field. And indeed, select subject didn't do a great job at it with big parts of the background still connected and big parts of the subject actually uh, hidden away. This is another very difficult subject with this flare coming in and partially obscuring the subject in the very complex background. And as I hide it, you can see it uh, takes away a lot of her hair. It takes away a big chunk of her arm there. But still, it's a good starting point. I think it's a valuable feature that will shave a few minutes off of each of the first selections that you do. So if you want to check out Photoshop CC, 
visit sdp.io slash Adobe deal. And you can pick up my Photoshop book, which has 10 hours of Photoshop video training in it, lots of sample files, lots of practices, and of course, a whole book. The ebook, the electronic version is $20, or you can pick up a paperback version for a few bucks more. It's definitely the best deal in Photoshop video training around. Thanks. 